many information for example on HIV or pregnancy or different diseases we don't get that information because you have to have an interpreter to communicate with the nurse. You fear being judged by people or fear exposing yourself too much? The little I know actually got it from clinics. We had people volunteering, coming to our school and talking about sexual reproductive health. I've heard about it from social media and from even peer interactions. We also have groups place to not discuss about reproductive health. There's a lot of information that is going on that is out there, but we need to make sure that the information is accurate and appropriate. So there are a lot of myths and uh, misinformation. So this is one of the things that we needed to do. We also needed something that uh, was owned by the young people and that um, could spur, generate conversation amongst themselves on topical issues so that they themselves can come up with solutions for their particular situations we looked around and we thought okay fine which of the best which which of these actors around can be able to help us achieve that the first entity which came into being was nylab nylab is known is a well-known innovation accelerator they normally uh, help young people come up with innovations and help them and incubate those ideas uh, into working solutions the idea of working with unfpa uh, as an organization and just uh, intersecting the knowledge that NILAB has and UNFPA has and then working with young people was quite tempting for us because UNFP has a lot of data, has a lot of experience, has a lot of networks and NILAB as well has experience with young people and with innovations and when you bring those two together there's potential for an explosive outcome. Imara.tv delivers short entertainment videos directly to the youth through social media and smartphones, educating them about sexual reproductive health. SophieBot is basically is artificial intelligence answering young people's questions on issues of sexual and reproductive health. So the technology can recognize the question that you're asking and now from our pool of information that we've created, it's able to answer now the user. The youths find the workshops and lectures boring. They can't relate to that. So we, we tried and analyzed and found out that if we come with a very effective way of educating the youths on concerning sexual productive health education, in a very impacting way, but yet fun and interactive, then the youths can get to learn. That's when we developed Jump Arena. For this particular uh, acceleration program, we were developing a sexual reproductive health application that shows different vocabulary for sexual reproductive health with their signs. You are able to search various words. It shows the most searched words appear at the top with the videos and you can click on any of the links. Campaign period was uh, four months long. Uh, it was a very intense uh, process where we were paired up with uh, industry mentors 
who showed us the way to approach uh, our challenges and come up with uh, practical and scalable solutions. Through the accelerator program, we are able to be linked up with mentors. We are able to be networked with people who are fit in the market to make our product uh, reach the point that it has reached us as of now. One of the benefits we had was mentorship. They were able to explain to us many things through the mentorship program. Most of us in our team do not have the business acumen uh, before the acceleration program, but right now we can say we are pretty good business people thanks to Nylon. So when you have solutions by young people, for young people, the solution is adequately responsive to the needs of young people. We tested this game in the market and in a span of 100 days we had uh, over, six, over 400 downloads on Play Store and we had over 2,000 game interactions whereby the user used to spend averagely 3 minutes playing our game. Many deaf people have downloaded the application and also hearing people and the comments that they've given us are very positive. They say the signs are clear and good. Communication is always a challenge everywhere. Sometimes it's expensive to download information from the internet because the bundles are expensive. So many places, many deaf people don't have information. The market reception has been really, really good. And the idea of artif using artificial intelligence to solve this problem, AI is the next big thing. It's been really helpful, especially the fact that you get your answers instantly. The local youth have been starved of local, localized content. So having localized content that is not only educational but also entertaining uh, has gotten a very positive uh, response. It's helping a lot. I thought Google unaipata ata YouTube niliona kuna tu videos mahali. So ina ina nimeisikia sana. These four apps will have data that will actually complement each other extremely well 6 months down the line if they keep up with the work. And it's been just been struggling. How do we reach young people with information on the surfaces? And uh, when you look at this concept, it's really the charger which is going to give us a leeway to reach as many young people as we can with correct information. The young people have a big opportunity uh, to participate in this initiative because first of all they are interested in doing so. Because uh, we have had conversations with them and they have said nothing for us without us. I think this is an opportunity for us to expand, uh, that is going to expand the scope to a group that perhaps we hadn't been reaching as effectively as perhaps they now will be reached. We really look forward to um, having more rounds of uh, uh, innovation acceleration uh, to just be able to get as many solutions outside there. This time round we are still focusing on young people. Probably we'll go to maternal health, we'll go to any other other issues within the mandate of UNFPA.